Don't fail your music career. There's two routes that you can go on as an independent artist. And usually 99% of artists go down the wrong path and they fail and only 1% end up succeeding. So let's dive into this video. Let's go down what those two routes look like so that you know not to go down the wrong path. So make sure to stay to the end so that you can know that you're going down the right path. And if you're currently going down the wrong path, we can fix that up. We can get you down the right path. So let's start with route A. Route A, which is what 99% of artists do and why 99% of artists fail is you're depending on other people for production and you're outsourcing production. So what does that mean? That means you're going to get beats off YouTube. Um, you're downloading them YouTube to MP3. You're gonna low quality beat or you're buying them off BeatStars or you're going to a homie and making them. All three of those routes are not ideal. The first route, if you're getting them off YouTube, the actual quality of the audio file is lower and your song is going to come out lower quality. If you're getting them off BeatStars, you probably don't own the full rights. And even if you do, you don't get full customization. It's not really your sound. You have to make your vocals and lyrics match to them and you got to pay a few hundred bucks. If you got a homie doing it for free, that's great. But sometimes our homies can let us down. Sometimes we're mixing, you know, we're mixing family and friends with business. And sometimes that can really be a recipe for disaster. So just working with your friends just to try to get it for the free isn't going to get you consistent right so the other parts too like if you're not recording your vocals at home like i literally have the whole recording set up right here right at the house i sleep right over there i walk out and i'm in the studio and that's a big deal i can put out a lot more songs like my song watch me which got over a hundred thousand views my song necesito que regreses got over twenty four thousand streams i've gotten other songs that have gotten thousands of streams and i'm able to put out at least a song a month and market my music effectively because i don't have to go to a fucking studio i can do it right here in my fucking house so like if you're not recording vocals at home like that's some beginner ass shit, but you're, you probably are. So we can skip over that. But if you're paying for studio time, dude, what the fuck? The other thing is, you know, hiring out for mixing and mastering. You're probably doing it, paying somebody else to do mixing and mastering for you, which is gonna cost you a few hundred dollars and you have to wait weeks and weeks to get your songs back. And then the other thing is you might be getting it from a homie, but again, same problems that I outlined before. If your friend's not as serious about your music and they've got their life stuff going on and they're doing it for free, so they're not prioritizing you, obviously, then you're not able to get your songs out consistently. And then you're like, well, well, fuck me now, what do I do? That's like my my, my client, Jaden Ari. He's in my Rapid Fire Music Academy. That's where I teach vocal artists like you and me how to produce your own music, like make beats, mix, and master. So he joined the program. That was kind of the situation he was in. He had a friend who was producing music for him. And, you know, they're good friends, but it's like, dude, his homie had like other stuff to do. He had work, he had personal stuff. My client, Jaden, wasn't able to get his songs done. He wasn't even able to start his music career. So he was like, fuck this. I need to do this myself. So he joined my academy and got three songs done in the 90s days that he was in the program. Now he's joined my rapid fire music masters to learn how to actually grow his brand and his fan base. So he did great and he fully produces his music. So that's for the mixing and mastering side, like, or the other way is maybe you're uploading it to an AI website. I actually have a friend who owns an AI mixing and mastering website, but again, you're not able to fully control the quality of your music. So the mix might sound pretty good, but what if you want to make something sound different? What if you want to create your own sound through mixing? You're not able to do that if you're relying on AI. So most people do that, right? And overall, in general, people who are trying to scrap the process together, there's two main problems, time and money. Time, if you wanna be releasing a new song every four weeks, maybe you wanna say every four to eight weeks even, consistently throughout the year, you're not gonna be able to do that. You're saving up money for those beats or you're waiting for people to mix and master your music or you're waiting for your homie to meet. It's just all this shit. You're waiting for stuff to get returned. You're waiting to meet up, all this stuff. And it's very, very, very difficult for you to put it all together because you're having to piece it together relying on people. So that's where the time thing comes in. Money-wise, on the low, you're probably spending anywhere from, I don't know, 250 to 500 bucks per song, if that, probably more. But on the low end, maybe 250 to 500. I, I had a client, or I have a client named Devin Christodoulou. He does more pop folk singer songwriter. He's not a hip hop artist. He did great in my academy. And before he started with me, he was spending $1,000 per song to get the instrumental produced, recording time, mixing and mastering. And he's trying to make his music full time. He joined my academy academy and it ended up getting three songs done fully. He produced them, wrote them, mixed, mastered them in his laundry room, bro. Um, since joining the program, I have written, recorded, uh, mixed and mastered three songs in less than three months. At the time, I was skeptical because it seemed to be more geared towards hip hop and rap. And I wasn't sure if it was good, really going to work for me, but I was really inspired and interested and learning how to do music production. So I jumped right in and worked amazingly for me. Thank you, Lee. Um, Lee taught me how to do 
the technical production side of recording, mixing, EQ, mastering, and has put my music career on a whole other level. If there's a songwriter or artist out there that wants to, is curious about getting into this program, I highly recommend it. Just invest in yourself, invest in your future, and let God's work happen for you. Okay, take care everybody, bye. Like, so just in the span of working in the program, he made back 3K because of, you know, the amount of songs that he got done. So it's the money thing as well. Like you're just, you're, you're spending so much money and time and you're really not able to piece everything together. And so the other thing is, you know, maybe you're trying to produce music on your own, but you don't know how. And that's really route B. Route B is the 1% of artists, which they choose to do the things that most artists are not willing to do. And that's why they make it. Taking me, for example, first 12 years, I've been doing music 13 years. I'm in year 14 now. The first 12 years, I really didn't make any moves or money with music. I made a couple thousand here and there, but overall in the first 12 years of my career, I really didn't, I didn't make anything. And then in year 13, you know, I ended up making a hundred grand with music in 2023. And, and the reason is because I was willing to do what no one else was willing to do. And I had this one skill, which is producing my own music. And so going down route B, you might be thinking, well, yeah, I want to become my own producer, but like I've gone down the YouTube rabbit hole or I've joined an expensive music university like Berkeley College of Music or Full Sail University or SAE or LA Film School. One of those, those are super expensive. Maybe you joined those or maybe you haven't because you're like, dude, that shit's hella expensive. I'm not trying to do that. Maybe you've tried YouTube and you're like, dude, I don't even, you don't know what you don't know. And so you've tried the YouTube tutorials maybe like this and you're like, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't, I don't, this isn't working out just going on YouTube. Maybe you think you need to know music theory. Maybe, you know, maybe you think you need to have expensive gear. Maybe you're like, dude, I need to do, I need to get years and years of music production experience under my belt before I can be great. So I'm not even going to try because I'd rather just go all in on the songwriting. All of that is fucking bullshit and it's all limiting beliefs because here's the actual truth you don't need to know music theory okay i'll literally show you an example i have this keyboard i have this keyboard right here right it's obviously a midi keyboard and i know how to play piano i took uh I took piano lessons for three years. So I know music theory, but guess what? I frequently use this. I just use the keyboard on my computer. I got a client in the academy named Carlos Casada. He never even made a song before joining the academy, but he always had hopes and dreams of doing it. Joined the academy, he's already gotten like, damn, like over 20 instrumentals were made. He recorded, I believe, four songs and got his first song mixed and mastered and fully produced, okay? And he doesn't know music theory, never even wrote a song, and he's he's able to do it, right? So I had literally barely Barely, barely started like learning how to produce. I knew little to nothing, never made a song. I was barely getting started with the whole thing. As soon as I started with him, within, what was it like, two weeks maybe, three weeks, I had my first beat. I think it was like two weeks, first beat. Since then, it's been about a month and a half. I got five beats. I got my first full song recorded. Wow. And more to come, more to come. Hey, that's crazy. So you've never, you had never even recorded a song? Never. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. Because you're hella good at singing. Oh, appreciate I can't that, wait till man. they hear your song. Like it's nuts. It's so coming soon, soon. Yeah. Before you started, what was your thoughts on where your music career was gonna go? Like before we linked up, what were you looking Shit, at? Dude, before that, I was hoping to make a first beat before the year ended, dude. <laughs> and I already got five beats and a full song, so. So that eliminates pretty much all those fucking bullshit limiting beliefs that you have, which is that you need music theory, you don't. You don't need expensive equipment, okay? If you've already got the recording set up, like I have, and the computer, like obviously you're gonna have a keyboard and you know, you are gonna need headphones and you're gonna need an audio interface to actually, you know, you need your home recording setup to record vocals and your computer and that's it. You don't need a fancy mixing board. You don't need a big ass fucking expensive ass preamp. You don't even need a MIDI keyboard. You can start without any of those things, all right? And then the years of experience. Dude, in my Rapid Fire Music Academy, people literally get results in 90 days. That's how the program works. Like, here's literally how it works. Guaranteed you have at least one song fully produced, written, recorded, mixed, and mastered by you that you're excited to release, and you have all the tools, skills, and resources to never wonder how you're going to be able to produce your own music for the rest of, the, of your career. And if both of those aren't fulfilled in 90 days, I continue to work for free until they are. So, it's a no-brainer. Like, you can go down Route A, you can keep doing what the fuck you're doing, that's totally fine. Leave this video and don't take any action. I don't give a fuck because I've already got 40 clients I'm doing my thing. We're helping our clients get to the next step in their music career. I'm getting the next step in mine. So you can dip out and peace out from this video and just be like, all right, I'm not going to make a change. Fuck it. Good for you. But if you actually want to make a change and you are committed to making a change, click below and just go watch the main video on my channel where I literally outline the whole program with the client results 
And from there, if you wanna join the Academy, book a call if you're ready to invest. If you're not ready to invest, no worries, don't book a call. If you're like, no, dude, I'm ready to fucking financially invest. I'm ready to rock and roll. I don't need to wait for a paycheck. I don't need to wait three to six months. I don't wanna just gather information because that's not the point of the call. Point of the call is like, I'm getting on this call with you, Lee, because I like just need to know if this is the right program, but I'm ready to go. I don't wanna get this. I'm just gathering information bullshit. Don't fuck with me. Don't waste my fucking time, all right? Awesome, so thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you got some value. Do not be in the 99% of motherfuckers that don't get results and fail their music career. Be a part of that 1%. Become your own producer today. Talk to you on the next one. Peace.